just want to note that the bond markets are selling off and, uh, you know, let's get back with Ned Phelps. And, Professor, you know, the bond markets actually had, had been anticipating for quite some time uh, in the last two weeks prior uh, that we would get a positive jobs number. Yeah. Yeah, I guess they were expecting about 180,000 increase yeah. in employment. <clears throat> we got only 160, but there was a revision, as you were saying, last month right. of 62,000. For the last two months, yeah. So this, <clears throat> taking, adding the revision to this number, we're, we're at 220,000 or so. Right, so but it doesn't uh, change the picture for you. Does that, it cha but does it change? That, that, that's, uh, that's good news. I, I, for me, that's, that's good news. It, I think the private sector is not doing as badly as was feared. Um, but it doesn't change, for me, it doesn't change the, the medium-term outlook that we're going to have a, a, uh, a limited recovery. Mm -hmm. And it, we're basically in a structural slump. There are just not an awful lot of jobs that can, be, that can come out of the export sector. We need export exports for sure, but uh, for lots of reasons, but I don't think it's a big job That's creator. Change the jobs and picture. so I, I think but that uh, employment's going to be weak for the next for the foreseeable future. Okay, but then does that mean that it doesn't change much of the picture on the Fed either for you in terms of when they're going to raise rates? No, they can't keep rates down where they've been doing uh, for forever. They, they, they've got to start raising uh, rates. I think uh, around the world there are signs here and there of higher rates. Even in the U.S., uh, the rate on 10-year bonds is now around 4%. Okay.